Hi guys. Today I'm going to show you 10 cute animals. So if you're ready to get started, let's get into the video. 1. Patagonian Mara, Argentina, and Patagonia. Only Argentina has ever received reports of the Patagonian Mara. Considerable, wide grasslands are where this species lives, and large portions of the Patagonia region are home to it. The typical length of this animal, which ranges from 27 to 30 inches, includes a 2-inch tail. Its long front legs, big ears, and powerful hind legs, which are ideal for hopping, define its physical appearance. The Patagonian Mara has coarse, brownish-gray fur covering it. Its underbelly, snout, and eyelids, however, are covered in white fur. This species has been known to survive up to 14 years in captivity. The Patagonian Mara has highly unique long ears and limbs that give it a bunny-like appearance, closely resembling a jackrabbit. They only locate a new spouse after the passing of their previous one since they are monogamous for life. 2. Sand Cat, North Africa and Southwest Asia Sand cats are desert animals that inhabit North Africa and Southwest Asia. Instead of consuming water, they obtain the majority of their moisture from their food. They have a light sandy to grey-brown coat that is occasionally striped on the legs, slightly darker on the back, and lighter on the belly. From the inner corners of both eyes, bright crimson streaks spread over each cheek. They have low-set ears and a wide head with big eyes. Their limbs are short. The Sahara Desert in Africa, which extends through Algeria, Niger, and Morocco, the whole Arabian Peninsula, and areas of Central Asia, including Turkmenistan, Iran, Pakistan, and Afghanistan, are home to sand cats. 3. Siberian Flying Squirrel, North Asia and Europe You can probably see why I think this is one of the prettiest creatures ever. A tubby tiny fluff ball like this one would not seem like it could fly very far, yet skin flaps by its legs allow them to glide between trees. Siberian flying squirrels can be seen in northern Russia, China, and other parts of Asia and Europe. The only Japanese island with the fur balls is Hokkaido, where visitors are especially thrilled to see them. Flying squirrels use a hairy membrane called the patagium between their front and back legs to glide rather than really flying. Squirrels have been observed to glide over 100 meters using this membrane, either to avoid a predator or just to get to another tree. 4. Japanese Raccoon Dog, Asia These cute creatures, sometimes known as tanuki, resemble dogs more than raccoons. The mother and father Japanese raccoon dogs raise their puppies together and are monogamous. It is 40 to 50 centimeters length and 3 to 5 kilograms in weight. For fingers in the rear and five in the front. Only the forefoot's big toe, which does not touch the ground, is isolated from the other digits. The round and primitive canidae are believed to have a certain body form. Once in the summer and once in the winter, hair grows. It is a species that is a member of the family Canidae's genus Nycteroots. In essence, you dig your own bunker and live in it. We occasionally make use of bear and fox dig tunnels. 5. Serval, Africa Look at that face, please! African savannas are home to these cute creatures known as giraffe cats, and their long necks aren't their only distinguishing characteristic. Servals have the largest ears of any cat. Wild cats known as servals are indigenous to various regions of Africa. They forage for tiny prey while roaming savannas and wetlands in their native environment. They have a high amount of energy, may weigh up to 40 pounds, and are highly skilled at climbing trees to hunt and flee from predators. 6. Jerboas, Northern Africa and Asia Jerboas have large ears, lengthy rear legs, tufted tails, and small front limbs that give them an oddly mixed species appearance. But be clear, the rodents are completely natural and are related to birch mice. Small, jumping rodents called jerboas are found in the deserts of northern Africa and Asia. Jerboas are really adorable creatures with long tails, ears, and feet on the back that almost give them a comical appearance. Additionally, they have specifically designed legs that enable them to run and jump like kangaroos. 
7. Bearded Tamaran Monkey, Brazil and Peru. Do you believe that these monkeys are the prettiest creatures in the entire world? In rainforests, the bearded tamaran monkey may be seen hanging around in groups of 3 to 8, while it can also occasionally be seen alone. A subspecies of the emperor tamaran monkey is the bearded emperor tamaran. It stands out for having a funny-looking, drooping white moustache that both males and females, as well as young people, may grow. The bearded tamaran's grey body is covered in patches that are frequently yellow or brown. It consumes both plants and animals, making it an omnivore. When fully grown, these monkeys may reach heights of up to 10 inches, weigh 1 pound, and have a 15-inch tail. The big toe of the bearded tamaran is the only one without claws, it bears a nail instead. On all fours, it sprints. 8. Arctic Foxes Arctic Circle. Although small and adorable, Arctic foxes can endure the most freezing temperatures. The Arctic fox is an incredibly hardy animal that can survive frigid Arctic temperatures as low as minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit in the treeless lands where it makes its home. It has furry soles, short ears, and a short muzzle all important adaptations to the chilly clime. Arctic foxes live in burrows, and in a blizzard they may tunnel into the snow to create shelter. 9. Wombats, Australia. Wombats are tiny marsupials with strong muscles and short legs. They weigh from 44 to 77 pounds, which is heavier than they appear to be. Wombats are marsupials, just like their relative the koala, who can climb trees. This indicates that they belong to a specific subset of mammals that have pouches where their offspring grow. Since wombat infants are born quite tiny and defenseless, the pouch offers a safe area for them to develop and prepare for life outside. When necessary, these incredible animals can move remarkably swiftly and maintain this pace for up to 90 seconds. Even humans have been known to be knocked over by charging wombats. 10. Elephant Shrew, Africa with a snout that resembles an elephant's trunk, it is presumably clear why these little creatures are dubbed elephant shrews. They are rarely spotted because they are exceedingly elusive and remain well camouflaged. In reality, elephant shrews are not shrews. Recent research indicates that they are more closely connected to an African mammal clade that includes elephants, sea cows, and aardvarks. The macrosolididae which consists of four genera and 19 extant species, is the only family that includes elephant shrews, also known as Senges. They are so named because of their unusually long, movable, trunk-like snout and long, pointed head. They move like rabbits when they jump because to their very lengthy legs for their size. They have a long, scaly tail and a hunched back. A powerful fragrance used to mark territories is produced by a gland on the underside of the tail. Numerous predators are repelled by this scent of musk. But now if you don't want to miss something, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.